Well, um, you know, from a mileage standpoint, it is certainly one of the, the more lengthy legs, but um, you know, at the same time, you have some of the greatest conditions, so you eat up those miles pretty quick. And uh, fortunately, or unfortunately for us, um, there's not a lot of ice out there right now, so the, uh, the ice gate is quite far south, so in essence, that shortens the distance that we have to sail. Um, but it also puts us in some colder water <laughs> and some potentially stronger winds. So, uh, yeah, we're, I mean, we're looking forward to getting back out there. And, uh, you know, the fact that it's one of these iconic legs just makes us that much more excited. Yeah, I mean, this, um, you yeah, this leg is, is, is really important to all the teams, you know, especially us, given our current situation. Um, just to put it into context, you know, there's 16 points available and we have 23 points right now. So, um, you know, we want to prove to everybody that we're still one of the most consistent teams in this race. And, um, you know, for us, it's always been about the process. And that just kind of picks up again here in this leg. Um, you know, Cape Horn is kind of the inflection point of the race, really. I mean, the whole race has a different atmosphere, you know, once the boats get around Cape Horn and start sailing up into to warmer climbs. So, um, you know, we're looking forward to some good downwind sailing, some cold weather, but, um, you know, hopefully that iconic, that iconic landmark is uh, waiting for us at the end. It's crazy. I mean, you, you always talk about it as, uh, as Cape Horn, but I think, um, you know, the real interesting bit of this leg is Point Nemo. You know, Point Nemo is the furthest point from land, and uh, Cape Horn is really just the, the, the celebration of leaving Point Nemo in a way, you know, um, getting, getting back to land and feeling a sense of accomplishment and completion. Um, having said that, there's still plenty of miles after Cape Horn, and, uh, you know, we coughed up a couple points on our way up the coast, so... Um, a lot can happen. You know, the semi-permanent permanent cold front coming off of South America is, uh, you know, a big feature of this leg as well. So, um, yeah, it, it, it's a great leg, and we're really looking forward to it. Yeah, they, they vary a little bit in the conditions that they present, but, um, you know, down in that part of the world, it's ever-changing. It's quite volatile. So, um, you, you know, we could really have anything. You know, it looks kind of upwind getting out of here. And then, you know, transiting a high pressure for the first couple of days. And then after that, I'm sure we'll get run over by something. And, you know, you'll see the, the typical Southern Ocean conditions, you know, between when we leave that high and when we get to Cape Horn. So a lot of uncertainty, but, you know, there'll be plenty of wind. Yeah, yeah, there's, um, there's, there's, there's heaps of opportunity left. Um, we can only control what we can control, you know. And um, that starts with leaving here in Auckland and putting our best foot forward, you know. Um, you know, we can't. Uh, control how the other boats are going to sail and how they're going to finish. We just got to take care of our own business and see where the uh, chips fall.